Glory to God. And the Lord says you're on the brink of revival. Someone say, Lord, I receive it. Someone say, Lord, I receive it. In the name of Jesus, I receive it. I receive the spirit of revival upon my soul. It don't matter what struggle you're going through with. Revival will, revival will wreck the devil. It don't matter how weak you are. Revival will raise the dead. Come on, somebody. It don't matter how far back you have gone. Amen. Come on, somebody. Revival will... Come on, another word for revival is resurrection. And there's nobody dead here. Come on, somebody. You may be weak, you may be down, you may be discouraged. Come on, somebody here. But somebody say, in the name of Jesus, I receive this revival. Open them out, open them out. Preaching ain't no one man thing no more. Open them out right now and say, in the name of Jesus, I receive revival in my soul, revival in my mind. Mind. Revival in my spirit. Catch me where you can. Revival in my body. Revival in my home. Revival in my marriage. Revival in my preaching. Revival in my teaching. Revival in my ministry. Revival in the gifts. Revival in the callings. Revival in the talents. Rapoko Shakapa. Somebody in the name of Jesus. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. I heard heard it last night I must have awoken my wife and I shouted out Rako Shakaba I say on the brink sheep of of revival God said to tell your body of Christ glory to God you have to understand my timing that's why even last night you have all them things happening in Manhattan it was prophesied right here in New York that darkness is coming darkness right in, in April Going ahead of myself. Somebody say, on the brink of revival. Ooh, shut up. It's God's revival. It's world revival. Glory to God. The first thing about this revival is the acts of the harvesters. The acts of the harvesters. Yes. As we have learned right here about the acts of the patriarchs of old, the acts of the monarchs of old, the acts of the prophets of old, the acts of the apostles of old have already gone. These acts were very dramatic all in the Bible. But God is ready for the acts of the harvesters. Not just the information about the harvesters. No, nor the milestones, but the acts. God is ready to tabulate your acts. And after the acts of the harvesters will be the acts of the angels. Huh. After the acts of the angels will be the acts of God himself. But right now we are in the acts of the harvesters. Can somebody say amen? The Bible says in Matthew 24, it says this, verse 14, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. Come on. Unto all nations as a witness, then shall the end come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are on the brink. And in the Acts of the Harvest says, we have learned as God has revealed unto us worldwide vision day. Glory to God. Worldwide Vision Day. You know, a lady contacted us all the way from Toronto. For there's a preacher right now who is who, who have been persecuted by the security forces in Canada, and because of that, he he is now being heard by millions. He's on the secular media. He's interviewed here and there, and he has become widely respected and widely known. But you know, a lady in 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 Toronto huh, sent us a message and said I went to that man and said I am going to Worldwide Vision Day will you come with me you hear what I said he said I'm going to go on World Vision Day on, 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 on July 6th will you come with me well he said he was unable to go at that time 
and she went herself downtown downtown into Toronto hallelujah and did her worldwide vision day hallelujah glory to God worldwide vision day my God is, is gone abroad it's impacted as a matter of, it's interesting that this mighty young man of God in Toronto is only uh, uh, about two or three months ago no not so long about two months ago that he gave us the permission to use his materials and only days so it can't be two months can't be, only days after he he gave the permission he was arrested you see what happened you see the world came on his shoulder you see once he gave us the permission they didn't know it's, it's to the world and it fell on him and it was too heavy i believe he was preaching too hard my god of mercy here and they lock him up but since that time no he's preaching to millions he's preaching on secular tv he's preaching on news are you there glory to god you didn't know that this preacher was invited to even preaching some time ago at a youth event well, but for other reasons the event had to be cancelled listen it's all connected whoa it's all connected glory to god for in the past you know most believers put street preaching as if it's odd it's kind of strange it's, it's a it's a little beyond the pale it's a it's kind of fanatical huh. but god is bringing respect to the street preacher my god of mercy here my god my god it's all mixed up glory to god in my word right there Hallelujah. It's all connected. It's all connected. God, you know, now churches, uh, he went to court this week. He went to court this week. And over 300 pastors show up. My God, my God, my God, my God. God is causing street preaching. Hallelujah. To be on the front line. It's not only some little odd folks in the church. Oh, who are beyond the normal. But the church got to wake up. Oh, a street preaching is coming to the front. I'm trying to let you know without giving you all the organized information that, that revival is on the horizon. Come on, somebody. Revival is on the brink. Somebody say, on the brink of revival. And we, don't, we, don't, we do not only hear of a worldwide vision day. Uh, and but we heard of global outreach day once per year oh this ministry out of germany mm, is doing the same thing as worldwide vision day the only difference is four times per day every quarter the first saturday of every quarter but god calls both of us hallelujah from global outreach day and worldwide vision day to show up in brazil did you know Brazil have more Pentecostals than America? Than the USA? Brazil got more Pentecostals than the USA? The Assembly of God alone is 20 million. I've been to their church, to the top church, of the head church, and they said to me, come and, pre come and, come and release Worldwide Vision Day. That's all they said. When I show up, they said, you're going to preach too. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. And God allow Worldwide Vision Day to be released, all, not only as a revelation, but as a sermon. Oh, glory to God. We came back to America and went back. When they went back, we thought they were having a world conference. Well, we thought it was a world conference that they was big up like his world conference. But when they went there, all the big men, in gospel all the big men in pentecostal gospel reinhard bonke the head of 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 uh, what a big university campus glory to god all the big names were there all the big names were there glory to god in the middle of all the big names after the biggest man was finished preaching the biggest in the anything in gospel is the any any pentecostal gospel speak you have to call it is the biggest and when he was finished preaching and he blessed the people my god they look at the top of the 
restroom and say, you man up there, you man, it's your time. Rako shata da ba ba You man, you know what that little man? This little man here, glory to God, I went down there and released worldwide vision there. Glory to God, glory to God. One man of God from India had stepped out to buy some of Reinhard Bonke book. And while he was at the place to buy, he said, I still hear Reinhard Bonke up there. <laughs> I said, I, I heard Reinhard Bonke up there. So he left the books and went back inside the service. It was Reinhard Bonke. <laughs> it was a little man releasing worldwide vision. He said, this is what I want. This is the real thing. And today I've heard him here so many times. That's Bishop Kumar for me. Come on, from India, you're there, somebody. It's all together. It's all connected together. And God calls Global Outreach Day and Worldwide Vision Day to speak one behind the other. One behind the other. We didn't know each other, but yeah, they didn't know what they were doing. But the Holy Ghost know what they were doing because it's connected. It's revival. Come on, somebody here. And my God, my God, is taking form. Don't worry yourself. Glory to God, don't stop. Work harder than before. I said, we are on the brink. Some of you don't believe me. The Holy Ghost tell me. Say, Bishop, let's feel good today. <laughs> because I pray all night. He want to let it off. <laughs> but even that is a part of it. Because God is very organized. Some of us are on the brink of revival. Is all together. Amen. They are persecuting those men. Amen. Notice just a couple of months ago, we spoke in we spoke in in January, in the in, in the month of January, that persecution is about to escalate on the body of Christ within weeks of that prophecy. Amen. They attacked a preacher right there in London. Treated him bad, same. As happening in Toronto treated him very bad take away his Bible put him in jail the mayor rose up against him the mayor of London rose up against the little preacher the little street preacher glory to God I believe he's from Nigeria are you there and now they rise up against this little man right there in Toronto and the mayor rise up against him same way you have to understand what's going on here you see london is a world moving city and toronto is the same you have to honor because of the revival you see the next place will be new york or some other major city in america are you getting me somebody somebody's a revival god have it all organized for when they up the revival when they up the persecution persecution is just before revival for the bible says in chapter 8 and verse 1 he said when persecution came upon the church he said the apostles remain in Jerusalem while the saints glory to God went everywhere were scattered abroad everywhere preaching it's all connected hallelujah it's the acts of the harvesters time and it's all connected and anytime we know we have persecution in America, but any time this level that was seen in London and seen in Toronto, when it arrived in America, it can blow the revival trumpet. When it land here, it can blow the revival trumpet. They are already blowing it in Brazil. Three million people left the walls of the church glory to God, glory to God and went on the streets who Rabakasha a Brazil and say we give this nation to Jesus that's three million you know you see when the, the Bible says in Matthew 24 and verse 14 it says and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached as a witness, you have to understand witness, witness has two things about it, first a witness is a legal term is a person there to witness that this thing is true or not true. I am there with somebody. But a witness is also somebody who is not the number one. Is that the person involved? Is that the person in the chair? 
Come on, somebody. It's not the important person. It's the nobody who just saw. Glory to God. And can say it is so or not so. So when God called for the witnesses, it's not the clergy. It's, it's not the educated it's not the theological it's not come on somebody it's not the one with his Hebrew and Greek though it's good enough it's just the little one who sit down and only hear sermon I feel like preaching right now only sit in the church and, and hear the pastor did he preach good or did not preach good they are only witnesses but God said I'm going to send out those witnesses come on somebody on the street they don't have to preach good as the pastor somebody say revival somebody say revival but they will be able to say I was there hallelujah I was there amen on that day when the Lord saved me come on somebody here somebody shall revive somebody shall revive somebody shall revive revive you see the witnesses is it's like oh you have I, I, i'm on non-violent protests let me tell you what the government afraid of the most the thing the government afraid of the most within a nation is non-violent protests if they ain't if they are violent protests they can kill them off but they can't handle non-violent pride. That's why they could not handle Martin Luther King. You're not talking to me, somebody. And God said to tell you, you have to understand the weakness. The other side of a weakness. It means a non-violent child of God. Who is about to go on the street. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. If it's only 10, they can do all they want to do with you. But when the number grow to 100 and to a thousand and to five thousand and fifty thousand even though they are non-violent the government know they can't control them you know we need somebody and this is what god uh, this is what god about to release amen so the witness is like a non-violent protest they are terrified that's why they are trying to stick them imagine the, some little preachers some little nobodies and the government is terrified terrified most law lawyers are afraid to even defend them and right here in new york we have had some experiences because we have had a few of these young men have been jailed a lot of folks don't know about it i've been jailed for preaching on the street glory to god glory to god and one of them oh they were all teenagers but one i believe was 15 or 16 and they put him in jail and he never stopped preaching he kept on preaching in jail come on somebody that they decide to let them go but they couldn't handle this young man and they send a message to the parents they said come get out this young man send anybody 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 so you already have the experience when they arrive in new york he ain't gonna be no one preacher come on somebody glory to god you're gonna be at risk but they can't put you all in jail you're not talking to me somebody if it's me alone they'll put me in jail like how they put that mighty preacher in jail you don't understand me somebody and though he's in jail nothing much going on but they can't put all of you in jail he ain't talking to me here somebody they can't put every church member in jail you're not excited you're not excited you're not excited glory to god if you think it's me you're gonna go to jail i might be missing and i'm in alaska Come on, somebody here, yeah, for it's your time now. I know no one man can do it anymore. You ain't saying amen, somebody here. Yeah. No one man can do it anymore. God is ready for the witnesses. God is ready for the untrained. God is ready for the pew, not the pulpit. Somebody shout revival. Somebody shout revival. But don't worry yourself. I'm trying not to go to the notes. God is about an hour. Glory to God. Somebody shout revival. Somebody shout revival. Somebody shout revival. Somebody shout revival. But God said, don't worry. For this is the time right now. God said, I'm going to give you respect. Stand up, everybody. And street preaching is now being respected. Witnessing is now being, oh, I, I, I met a minister 
a reverend in Brooklyn this morning, another part of the harvest army, when she told me, said, Bishop, I was ordained last week as a reverend. But then she said to me, I am not a regular reverend. I am a community reverend. I'm not into the walls of the church activity. I'm for the community. I said, lady, amen, your clarity is good. Glory to God. I said, I bless you in the name of Jesus. I say, your clarity is good because the mandate upon you is larger than before. In the past, when you're ordained, you're ordained to perform all the rituals on the inside. And the enemy have, have gotten accustomed to the church on the inside. And they are comfortable. But they cannot handle a few street preachers on the outside. Come on, somebody. And we are discovering that they are intimidated. You can imagine an entire city government rising up against a little preacher, a young preacher. Who just stand up on the street and tell them about Jesus? What about when thousands of us go out? Hallelujah. Somebody say revival. I release it right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I release it. Reviver. 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 In the name of Jesus, I release it. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it. You are no longer behind the scenes. You are no longer odd. You are no longer hidden. You are on world news. Hallelujah. You are on secular news. Street preacher is now a norm of the society. It's not just church. And a mighty preacher in the pulpit. It's now known that there is a thing in the church as a street preacher. As a witness, as a personal witness, is no a part of the church. Hallelujah. Take that mandate, take that mantle. It's the mantle of revival. Bible says in Luke 14 23, he said, Go into the highways and into the hedges and compel men to come that my house may be filled. Last night there was a major power outage, darkness upon the number one city in the world. If it was part of the third world, you could take it lightly, but not in the number one city. Because that prophecy was given from April that is coming. Hey! But also, Brooklyn Church. Are designated today as Phil God's house Sunday, and God calls only hours before Phil God's church Sunday for that to happen. Understand something about New York. New York is not like Africa or the Caribbean that have outage more often, so they have generators. And the hotels got generators so that as one go out, then the other one go in. As the public power goes out, then the other one goes in. No, New York is not like that. New York is supposed to have so much together that they have no generators. That's why years ago, 20 years ago, when blackout hit New York, this was the only lighthouse. Even the cop came and parked because they were terrified of the dark. Shut up, even the cop came and parked on the outside. Many stayed all night, wouldn't go home. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because we had the light ready. Only two months ago, before I went to Jamaica, I told the leaders make sure you have your generators. For darkness is about to hit again. Come on, somebody. What happened last night is only a foretaste. It's only a little warning because God's a God of grace. And there are warnings happening in California. And warnings everywhere. Why? Because we are on the brink of revival. Revival is about to hit the earth. Rakosh I release it in the name of Jesus. Come on. Spirit of revival. 
receive it right now. 